This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up, YouTube? It's Zapdos TCG here, and welcome back to another TCG battle video. Today, we're gonna be playing with another Behem list. Uh, we saw Behem do very well at the World Championships with the help of the uh, Pidgeotto draw engine. This time around, we are gonna test it out with the Naganadel draw engine. Naganadel GX has, of course, Ultra Conversion, very nice. Once during our turn, we can discard an Ultra Beast from our hand. Now we can draw three cards. So for every Naganadel GX on the field, we can do that. So our main engine is to set up a bunch of these Naganadel GXs. The good news is that, of course, we have uh, the uh, capabilities of having a triple accelerated energy. That means that sometimes if we can get that one psychic attachment, sometimes we can even snipe, uh, not with this Naganadel, but uh, with this Naganadel with the Venom Shell. It happens from time to time. The good news is that uh, the opponent will be item locked thanks to the uh, mysterious noise attack of Behem. We're gonna smack that uh, triple accelerated energy onto Behem. We're gonna use that attack and put the opponent in an item lock. Item lock is nice, that means the opponent will not be able to reset stamp us and they will not be able to use custom catcher, which are the main engines to like win games. So that is fantastic. So we're gonna put them in an item lock and then we put a stall Pokemon on uh, yeah, the opponent, with a, a stall Pokemon like Gumi, for instance. This Pokemon has the uh, sticky membrane. As long as this Pokemon is the active Pokemon, your opponent need one Carlos energy more to attack. So the opponent's active will have a hard time. Then also, we have Luminous Barrier, Alolan Ninetales from the team up set. Make sure that every GX cannot even touch us. Not even this, uh, the effects of the attacks. We are invincible for GXs. So we're going to try and set up a Ninetales. We're going to be trying to set up a Gumi from time to time. And the main engine will be, of course, Nagadal GX. To draw, of course, into those L gems Because we are going to need those in order to evolve into uh, Behem. So um, Behem puts itself back in the deck with Mysterious Noise. So that means our triple accelerated energy doesn't get discarded. It goes back to the deck. So we need to draw our entire deck. The good news is that we have a lot of draw supporters. We're gonna have, of course, Cynthia, the main draw engine. We also have Copycat in here. Now you might say, why is Copycat not used more often? Well, uh, in this deck, it's very great because the opponent will be in an item lock. That means we can use Copycat. They will have a huge hand size because they cannot play their item cards down and Copycat will then become great. We have Koga's Trap. From time to time, we can use this to uh, put the opponent to uh, yeah, confuse or, and poison at the same time, which is very nice. Sometimes we don't even need draw engines uh, like, a support, like a Cynthia or a, yeah, or a Copycat. That means we have a free supporter turn. That's why we're using Koga's Trap. Or typically Brock's Grid to get all those Ultra Beasts back in the deck because otherwise we cannot draw with Ultra Conversion. There's a lot of Naganadels in here. We even have Stinger GX. Uh, sometimes it could work out against Stall decks, uh, so that means we can Stinger them and uh, like those Pajolo Control decks. We only need to take three prize cards, which is better than uh, taking six, I guess. <laughs> then there's also uh, this Naganadel with the Charging Up. This could help out against Mewtwo because this is a Psychic type and if we're at three prize cards, we can use Turning Point for a huge amount of damage, 160 to be exact. Nigaligo could also come out in handy. We do run that one copy of Psychic Energy. If we're able to find it, we can use, of course, Ultra Space. There's four copies of that in this list to find our Nigaligo. And there's also Mew in here because we don't want Picaram to just go crazy with, of course, their sniping thanks to the Tag Bolt GX. U-Turn Board is a very nice uh, addition in a deck like this because that means we have free retreat on almost everything that has a one retreat cost, which is awesome. And if it gets discarded from play, it goes back to the hand, which is fantastic. Then there's also a Tate and Liza because sometimes they do have means to put our, uh, like, the uh, team of Ninetales can just uh, gust a uh, Pokemon with a huge retreat cost or uh, something that we don't want. And then we need to rely on the Tate and Liza because we always want to have the attach of the turn being a triple accelerated energy. So uh, that is the deck for you today. So uh, this is also called, like, the Space Deck, the Ultra Space Deck. Or, uh, yeah, you know how it goes. Behem looks a little bit uh, alien-like. And uh, we also have the uh, Naganadel, so we'll just have to find a deck here. Where is it? There's a lot of decks uh, on my profile already. If you're interested in any of those decks, I already made TCG Online video about, videos about all of these decks. So we are already getting uh, used to this format. Uh, we have all the best decks in town. And uh, we are looking forward for, of course, the last Sun and Moon set, Cosmic Eclipse. There's going to be a lot of content coming onto the channel, so be sure you are subscribed so you don't miss those videos. And today we are... Uh, Placing off against uh, presumably uh, Baby Blounce, if I had to guess. Baby Blounce Pidgeotto. 
Is that a good matchup? I wonder. They do need to use a lot of their item cards. So uh, they are already saying hello. We are uh, very friendly. And we're going to say hello back to the player. And uh, this Dr. Pokey Dad that's facing us. We're also going to smack this uh, purple down. Why not? And uh, our hand looks ridiculously bad. Okay, we got a mulligan. Uh, I can definitely... Uh, appreciate a mulligan like this and uh, we do see that it is a welder elm so we do see baby blounds baby blossophilon what can i say about that deck it hits for a huge amount of damage and people are testing it out uh we'll see how oh copycat that's fantastic that's actually what we needed here because using a koga strap is not the best uh, first turn supporter the opponent does have a huge hand size, so maybe that uh, continues on. Maybe they use fiery flints or stuff and uh, keep the energies in the hand that way our copycat becomes huge Feramosa is weak to fire, so they won't need a lot of uh, stuff to destroy us. Uh, either way, Poipal does only have 70 HP, so at least uh, we have that going for us. So if we can get Naganadel Jackson board, we definitely want to be finding a Behem, or actually an Algem this turn. Otherwise, our uh, like item lock shenanigans deck will not function. So they're already using Welder onto their... Uh, yeah, Baby Blossophilon. I used to play this at the cup as well. I uh, did very well with it. I came first and that was with the Greens Exploration build. So Baby Blossophilon is getting more popular by the days. But uh, I wonder uh, what will be played at the upcoming tournaments. Okay, Jirachi stays in the active position. And there's that. Okay, let's smack down another Poipol. We do see that he has a huge hand size. We're also going to smack down this U-turn board on this guy. And now we're going to go for a huge copycat. Getting a Psychic Energy equipped it is not bad either way. We could actually do that now that I think about it. Although this could also be running Custom Catcher. So we don't want to be wasting our Psychic Energy. Could also come in handy later. So I'm not going to attach it just yet. We're going to wait it out. We're going to use Copycat and see what we get. We get an L Gem. We get a Treasure. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're talking about here. U-turn board. Uh, that could be handy in uh, some of our Pokemon stall Pokemon. So we're going to use the Treasure. We're going to get rid of one Cynthia. Copycat will most of the times be better. So what else do we want? Another L gem. He could target our other one. Gumi could also come in handy. That means he needs more uh, energies to go to work with, actually. But we need to get this item lock as quickly as possible. So in this regard, I'm just gonna get out another L gem. Yeah, gonna get out two. So we definitely have, of course, the main way to go. What else? Do we get a new turn board on some of these Pokemon? Do we leave Feromosa on the active position? I guess Feromosa can uh, be sacrificed. He will still need two energies to destroy it either way. Uh, do we equip the u turn board? I guess this only works like for the... I definitely want to equip it to like Gumi. And then uh, get that Gumi back. Although, if he knocks something out, we're definitely gonna... I'm gonna wait with it. I'm gonna wait with it. He could stamp us, which is fine in my opinion. So we're just gonna wait it out. What do we need? We need to find a Pokemon. He has a huge hand size. There seems to be Jirachi in the active position. He still needs to get that out of the active position. How can he do that? He needs uh, things like a skateboard or a switch. And there's Fiery Flint. He's getting ready for a huge KO with the Fireball Circus. Are we prepared to take that damage? He still needs to put two energies in the discard pile in order to just one hit KO us. And we can have a responding... Yeah, I don't think we can have a responding KO here. Because, uh, yeah, our him believe it or not, only smacks 90 damage. So in that meantime, he can just set up whatever he pleases. He Is he going to go on the offensive? He is going to go on the offensive and he's going to go for a huge fireball circus, getting rid of two energies. Okay, now we need to find some sort of wall Pokemon. Okay. First things first, I would like to uh, set my uh, ultra conversion up. So hopefully we draw into something good. We have a treasure. This is not bad. This is not bad. Uh, I'm gonna treasure and we're gonna get rid of a one U turn board. I don't think we'll need uh, a lot of them in this matchup. So we're gonna get our. Do we get our item lock already going around? We have a lot of communications left. I think the better plan of action is to use the ultra conversion. There's still a lot of ultra beasts in the deck. We have ultra space which we can draw. So I think this is better. Getting this setup will be perfect here. So how many behemoths in the deck? All of them. So I'm just fine just getting this out here we go Naganadel GX this is the first of its kind one two three one two three okay do we use Cynthia right now or do we copycat we're gonna copycat just because we want the, the maximum potential that we can get okay we have a beast energy we have the triple accelerated energy and we have another one so we can use this 
We can also go for Beast Raid from time to time or use Stinger GX. Ooh, Stinger GX could come in handy from time to time. I'm just gonna... Ah, this is a huge hand, actually. Gonna get this on board. Do we need... We can still Brock this away. So we are gonna use the Ultra Conversion first. We can get Brock to get that back if we need that. So, oh, more cards in the hand. There is our little Gumi. Do we promote the little Gumi? That is the main question of the day. Could he knock it out? He will still need an extra attachment of the turn on his Blissaflon, which could actually be very fantastic. Uh, also, we are gonna get the triple accelerated energy onto the Behem. We're gonna use the treasure. I'm actually gonna get rid of the psychic energy since we do have the beast energy, which actually might be even better at this point. Although reset stamp could work out if he... Ah, huh, I wonder, I wonder, what do I get? Uh, I think I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna get rid of the psychic. We can get it back with Brock. We can get it back with Brox. So, Naganadel can uh, sometimes get a huge smack going around, but for now, I think I'm gonna go for another Naganadel GX. Here we have him. Bam. We can, uh, what else? We have a treasure in hand. We can get something out. We're gonna wait with that. Our hand is actually pretty good. We could stamp him, but it's gonna be for later. For now, I'm just fine getting our uh, Behem up and rolling with the mysterious noise attack. Bam. The opponent is now in an item lock. How good is that? That means all of his fire crystals, all of his shenanigans will not work out. And in this instance, he still needs an extra attachment of the turn to, in order to one-hit KO with his Gumi. And it only gives him one prize card. So, he used the Elms Lecture. Yeah, he's probably going to want to draw manually into his energies. But if we can keep him in an item lock, that means sometimes he will run out of energies, which is fantastic. There's already four energies in the discard pile, three on the Blasafalon, that means seven in total. How many energies does he have left to spare? Okay, Blazer? Is he gonna go for a Blazer? What is this? Okay, of course, of course, Blazer is not doing anything. And now I'm actually wishing we had that U-turn board. So, 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 so. Uh, do we Cynthia first? Nah, I want to get out my stuff, so I'm gonna use Ultra Conversion, get rid of that Pheromosa. Bam. Okay, he's not at an item lock anymore, which is a shame. We're gonna get another Elgium up and rolling. This Vulpix is irrelevant, so I am gonna get quick, make quick work out of that and discard it. We're gonna get rid of the Vulpix. And we're gonna get out another Poipel, I guess. I believe it could also be fun. Oh uh, yeah, this only has uh, 30 HP remaining, so a Mew could also do the trick, but uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Beast Energy, nah, 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 actually Beast Energy on uh, like the attacking Naganadel here could work out as well. Beast Raid. Oh well, here comes the Cynthia. Our little Gumi will see the discard pile, so this is kind of a, like a longer matchup than I would love. So, communication. First thing first, Ultra Conversion, let's get rid of this guy. We don't need him this point okay there's a lot of things going around communication what do we want let's put this back in the deck we want of course our behem behem will be for next turn he still needs another attachment of the turn he is not item locked and we are not able to find good smack down the upper space but that will help him out as well which is something i don't want so at this point he will not be in an item lock Will he use all of his fire crystals? Who knows, but uh, I'm not gonna evolve my Elgem either way. We could stamp him, but I don't think he has a lot of energies in the hand. Okay, this is sad. So, so sad. Okay, let's leave it like this. Leave it like this. Maybe we should use a Brock and then Stinger GX at, a, at one point. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, two Pidgeotto join the party. He's definitely gonna hunt after those energies. He is not item locked at this point. Which is sad. We just need to dig for our U-turn board. So note to self, don't get rid of the U-turn board. Kumi is now stuck in the active. And he can actually make quick work of that. Okay, he's gonna use Fiery Flint. That's fine, I guess. I don't know if we're playing this correctly. But this is a very nice way to just go with the item lock. He's definitely gonna be losing lots of energies. Because he needs an attachment of the turn on his Blastathlon. And the Welder could do the trick on a bench Blastathlon. <laughs> it's really funny that his blazer whiffed. Okay, he gets all the energies he wants. Hopefully we can stop him before he has fire crystals. Okay, five energies in the discard pile. Hopefully he whiffs on... Okay, custom catcher, what is he gonna get? G-axis? 
He's gonna go for GX. I can take that. I can take that. Okay. Poke gear as well. Next turn, we're gonna stamp him and get rid of this Blacephalon in no time. So, what is this guy up to? The good news is that we're getting our U-turn bar back, which is fantastic, and we can also stamp him, although the Pidgeotos can cause a little bit of havoc here and there. There's also one Welder in the prize cards, I do think he's gonna grab that. Fire Crystal, ah, that's sad. Only one? Will it be only one? Let it be only one, so we can item lock him, get rid of this guy. Oh boy. Okay, Ultra Space. We're actually gonna leave this guy open. If he at some point gets to a point where he has like only one prize left to pay, take, we are gonna definitely gonna rely on the Stinger GX. Okay, this is sad. We are gonna get blown up by this Blacephalon. Boom. 250 damage. All of his energies are gone. Ooh. Ooh, this is actually kind of exciting. There's no need to promote anything, so we're gonna promote our little Algem. Since we are gonna go with the Behem either way, we already have the triple in hand. Alright, triple here. He got the Welder, so that is fantastic for him, I guess. Alright, what else? Custom Catchers will no longer work if we are able... Let's get this on board. We're gonna use the triple accelerated energy over here. I'm gonna evolve this guy and now we need to like Brock or something. He's not gonna be able to use custom catcher this turn, which is fantastic. We're gonna stamp him to tree as well. Ultra space to get some draw engine going around. We are gonna get this Naganadal. We need to find one of our Brocks. Seems to be one prize, so we might as well draw into it. Ultra conversion, bam! Come on, we need to draw. Okay, another Elgin, that's fantastic. Another Behem, which is also good. And Ditto! Ditto can evolve into anything we possibly please, so that's good. Uh, we don't need to stand this guy anymore, so uh, we're also gonna go for a Mysterious Noise. So we get the KO, and he is item locked, and he only has three cards in hand. He needs to find... Yeah, we're gonna promote our little Gumi. He could go for a Blazer. He could do that, actually. If uh, there's three cards left in the prize cards. But we can still Stinger, right? Will Stinger work out? Who knows? He is still item locked. 10 energies in the discard pile. Oof. I think this deck only runs about 14 energies. So if we can get this lock going around, we should be good. Should be good. Now that I think about it, maybe we should have like put the U-turn board on a heavier target like this guy. Because he will need way too many energies to go around. Wish. He could Blazer and get a successful hit, but we still need to attach manually to find or actually to use Blazer in the first place. And he only has like a few cards in his hand. He could go for Pidgeotos and stuff, but there's no need to like play like Fiery Flint and uh, the Fire Crystal. Everything is now locked down, which is good. He can still always use Ultra Space to, to thin this deck of uh, the Blacephalons. He could also like wait in the back with his Blacephalon. He can also do that. Okay, another Pidgey. Airmail. Now we just need to focus on getting Behemoths out turn after turn after turn. So we do have like a Ditto and an L Gem and still a Triple Accelerated Energy once more. Finding a Brock will be crucial. We can always use Ultra Space and then draw again. So finding the Brock is now crucial. What is he gonna do? 18 cards left in the deck. He is up against like the item lock deck. And uh, we always can evolve this guy into Nagadadel GX if things get rough. But the best plan of action is to keep using the Behemoths so he's item lock. Imagine that there's like a couple of energy sprites. That would be fantastic. Although <laughs> if he uses Blazer, that is not fantastic. So at this point, I think if we have to just use Ultra Space and check if our last U-turn board is in the deck, Okay, he's gonna go for a Blazer. Is he gonna go for it? Okay, he just passes the turn. Just passes the turn. That is very bizarre. So we're gonna evolve this guy. Smack this guy down. Use a triple. Use the Ultra Space. Get the uh, Nigaligo. And we are gonna get rid of it thanks to Ultra Conversion once more. Bam. And now we can actually use the U-turn board on a heavier target as mentioned. Like this guy for instance. And then we use the reset stamp again. 
So he's at low hand size and we have to get rid of this energy here and then we're good. We're out of the woods, I think. All right, here comes Behem once again. We could promote like the Gumi here, but he could go for Blazers, which I really don't like. Here comes Mysterious Noise, 890 damage, bam. And now let's see here. He has how many energies in his discard pile? 10. 10 energies, one on board. He needs to attach more. I think we're safe promoting this guy. I don't believe he can get the one hit KO on this guy. In an item lock, I don't buy it at all. And this guy, the reason why we're not promoting Gumi right now is that he could top back an energy, use Blazer, get a KO, and yeah, do something, I guess. I, I refuse to believe that he can pull this off. He only has like uh, four energies left. That means three on the attachment. He can only maximum hit 100 damage. And then we're still safe on the back because we're going to retreat back into uh, the uh, behem here. We don't have uh, triple accelerate energy though. So that was going to be very scary. Hopefully we top deck like a Cynthia or whatever. Or a copycat, or a Tate and Liza, or whatever. Maybe the yeah, even the Brax Grid is good. So a lot of targets we can go for. And there uh, we do see a bunch of Pidgeotos are being set up on the opponent side. So this is a very close game. I don't know how how we're gonna be able to win, but it all depends on the, the draw, I guess. If he's not in a light item lock next turn, it's gonna be very very sad. So what can we top deck? Triple Accelerate Energy. That's four targets. We can top deck Brock, that's 5, Tate and Liza 6, Cynthia uh, 7, 8, uh, the copycat is 9, 9 targets out of 18 already which are good. So here comes the blazer, probably gonna be successful, nope not successful so only 10 damage we survived that, the 10 damage is actually pretty crucial. Okay we got the triple accelerate energy, that's very good, celebration all around. We're also gonna be using the communication here, getting that. Uh, mm, this guy back in the deck and getting another uh, L gem up and rolling. Could get another one of those uh, behemoths, maybe that would have been better. Oh well, there's no threats to be going around, so let's retreat. Actually, we, we should have waited. Everything on the bench was safe either way. Ultra space, there's no ultra space anymore, so we have communication, all these targets to go around. Oh boy, maybe I should. I misplayed at that point, I think. But well, we do get a prize card. So if we can get a prize card and it is a Brock, I'm uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, satisfied either way. So what do, are we going to promote here? He needs two energies. Uh, let's promote this guy once again. Don't think he's going to be able to pull it off. And we get Brock. Do we get Brock? Yeah, we get Brock. Of course, uh, I'm a little bit psychic here on the TCG Online program. Okay, Brock is live. That means we can uh, put everything we want back in the deck and then use Ultra Space to draw some cards. Yeah, that's how we go. And we didn't even have the top deck, so... The only thing we want is... I want to like keep that Ditto alive. Maybe that was a kind of a misplay, because I us maybe should have waited and then used the Behem. But now we are maybe uh, able to draw into like Triple Salarate Energy or whatever. We'll see, we'll see. I just want to thin my deck out as quickly as possible. And there's no target on the opponent's side. Uh, looks like we already got through two Blasphalons. 11 energies in the discard pile. 11 energy so a copycat at this point would have been really insane and I think about it Only Pidgeotto he's waiting at the opportunity where we don't draw into um, A behem or actually we we screw up that could be the case where the opponent can still win You can also use a light injection GX add a card from your opponent's discard pile to their face down prize cards Hmm, what can we put there energy? Not gonna matter too much here, he's gonna draw into our entire deck and uh, he's gonna keep all the cards in the hand until we screw up. So hopefully there's a custom catcher in his prize cards, otherwise, yeah, there's Blacephalon. He's gonna go for a manual attachment. Well, Professor Elm once again. Probably has a bunch of fire crystals back in the hand. Oh boy. Now things are heating up. We need to find the um, Behem as well as the Triple Accelerated Energy. We have a top deck and we have one Ultra Conversion at least. And then uh, we'll see how we go from there. Okay, he promotes Blastafalon. And we are gonna see here, we have the Beast Energy. Oof, not gonna help us out too much here. We're gonna go for Brock's Grit. And we're gonna be putting back 
this guy, this guy, this guy. Maybe energy? Nah, the energy is not needed at this point. You just need lots of Ultra Beast to go around. This guy could also help out, actually. Naganadel can charge up some energy and then we can go for it. Yeah, these are fine. Let's put them all back in the deck. Okay, what to do now? We need to find... Actually, this guy has the beast rate. Smacking 1, 2, 20, 40. That's only 70 damage, unfortunately. I'm not gonna get there with this guy. We will have to destroy a Pheromosa here. Come on, Ultra Conversion. Get us something we want. If we draw into another Ultra Beast, it's fine either way. Okay, we get... Ooh. Elgium. Not what we wanted at this point. Ultra Conversion again. Come on. Don't let this be a screw-up. Come on. Okay, Triple Accelerate and a Behem. Wow. That was close. That was close. So, uh, note to self. Play it safely. Triple here. And we retreat to the Behem and smack down another Elgium. Although. Although. We could also smack this guy down. Uh, this Mew. This Mew could help out a lot. If we don't draw, well, we do have like copycat, so we're definitely gonna get whatever we please. So it's just fine smacking this guy down. We're gonna go for ultimate item lock, mysterious noise, and just get this over with. And now we promote our Nagadadel once again. He's never gonna be able to smack 200 damage, it's impossible. He has 11 energies in the discard pile, so even in the best case scenario where he has still five energies left, that's three for the attachment and then only 100 damage. Item lock it is. So definitely chest this deck out. It is so much fun when you're the one controlling the opponent. He's not being able to play item cards. So we can even deck him out. Because I do remember that this list does not run any shuffle cards like Cynthia or whatever. I think it's just a uh, welder with Elm Engine. So even if he decks out, that's fine as well. So that is also something we can go with. We can work with. So first we copycat, then we use a couple of our ultra conversions and that's gonna be that. Alright, here we go, triple accelerated energy. Uh, this card can only be attached to evolution Pokemon. Oh boy, we don't have any insight. So for now we're just gonna go for a heavy copycat. How many cards is that? Woohoo! And that's why copycat is part of this list. We got everything we want, so here it goes, this guy. We're gonna give a triple accelerated energy on this guy. We're gonna smack down this guy. We're gonna use Ultra Space, getting Naganadel. This Naganadel? Why not? Maybe this Naganadel. There's a lot of Naganadels to go around. Brr. We are still at three prize cards. We can knock this Blacephalon out, but we still need the item lock. I'm gonna go for this guy. So many things to do here. We can even like use Ultra Conversion once more. Maybe that's not a not a bad idea. Don't need Nigaligo in this matchup. Not at all. We don't can even we cannot even use their attacks. So, we're not gonna use a uh, crazy Ultra Conversion. We have everything in the hand. He could stamp us, actually. He could stamp us, but the more Ultra Beasts are still in the deck, the better. So, Mysterious Noise, once again, poof. Get out of here. And uh, we are going back in the deck, promoting our Naganadel. So, in the uh, GX matchups, you just promote Ninetales. That's how it goes. In this scenario, the reason why we're not promoting Gumi is that he, yeah, he has a Welder engine, so... He can out of nowhere use a blazer. Ooh, Victini! He can use Victini! That's crazy! That is crazy, but Victini only has 90 HP, but he can get back all of his energy. Oh, I forgot about Victini. He can get back all of his energy. How many welders in his discard pile? This is actually a huge plot twist. Oh boy. Maybe we should have promoted the Gumi. Now that I think about it, that was a better plan. All the energies are back in the deck. And if we don't item lock him... How many welders? We still don't have stamps. He probably has welder in hand. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Is that one energy left in his deck? <laughs> we'll see how he goes. So, be here. We could go for Stinger GX at this point, but that will not help us out. 
Ultra space. Okay. What to do? Definitely need the item lock. Definitely need the item lock. Let's put this here. Huh. What to do? What to do? We actually have everything in hand, actually. Uh, we retreat. And this guy can use Blazer if he has a Welder in hand. With Welder and an attachment, he can use Fireball Circus. Hopefully that last card is not a, uh, an energy. Otherwise, we will be screwed over. Uh, with so many cards in the hand and so many energies that he can draw thanks to the Pidgeotos, we might even get screwed over. Oh boy. Actually gonna use a Brock in this scenario. And we're gonna get back Feramosa, Poipols, this guy, Nigaligo. Maybe the energy. Nah, not the energy. Let's just put those back in the deck. And, uh, yeah. This is not looking good. Let's put this here. I'm gonna go for the Ultra Conversion, getting rid of this Ultra Beast. Smacking down a Poipole. And I think we should go for the Mysterious Noise, get a prize card. And at this point, he's gonna definitely top deck an energy, draw three energies out of that, so he still has Welder as well, but he can no longer... Is that an energy in his prize card? That is the main question. Hmm. Do we promote Gumi or do we promote this guy? Let us calculate. He has an energy of the turn. All the energies are in his deck. That, that we know for sure. He can draw three of them with the Pijatos. He can draw three of them with the Pijatos and he still needs three for the attachment. We're not gonna risk the case that that last energy is a well as a, um, and a, actually the last prize card is an energy. So let's promote this guy and see if that was the correct choice. He is still in an item lock. He is still in an item lock. Okay. Wow, what a close game, what a close game. This is actually fantastic. So, the Babel Cephalon comes up. He has lots of energies to go around and he can welder onto them. So the bad thing is that, yeah, we can put him confused. Yeah, he even had the Heat Factory, oh boy. Well, he, he's definitely gonna be able to get the one-hit KO now. So airmail, 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 heat factory. Ooh, we misplayed on that part. We should have promoted the Gumi. But I was so afraid of his last uh, prize card being an energy. Stellar wish, so he get all this stuff done. Will we see an explosion on our Nagandal GX? I'm very happy to showcase that the deck has the item lock going around, but I did not see that Victini coming out of nowhere. Okay. Heat Factory, and does he have enough energies? He needs five and three, eight energies in the hand. Eight energies in the hand. Welder. Okay. Hmm. Energy, I'm so scared. With Welder, he's definitely gonna get it. Well played, we're gonna say well played. Yeah, he did it, he did it. He has Heat Factory, he had the Pidgeotto, so uh, yeah, <laughs> that was it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of, of course, the uh, Space Deck. Definitely practice with it a lot. Because, uh, yeah, it is just such a difficult deck to play around, but if you can get it working, it works out so well. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.